scenario we're in quad studios been here for the past two years straight man but you know i just did this deal with sony so i've been recording the, uh my fourth coming album my fourth album it's crazy right and four albums in i have no idea what it's called people we got we got uh tons of music to back it up though harlem's american gangster it was a mixtape to the streets about harlem People do soundtracks to the movies about Harlem, and we do soundtracks to the streets about Harlem, which we live in. Koch being a label that could distribute so fast and put records out quicker than most people that I know, as far as labels are concerned, um, they knew it was all original music with a little bit of tweaking, and you seen the opportunity to uh, get some records sold and you know, get some money in their pocket. You know, they they extraordinary label. They seen that I wanted to do a bigger business and. You know, they let me do the deal with Sony and shit like that, but it wasn't just a straight shot. Of course, it was Koch is still on. They still make money off me. They still get paid. So the more albums I sell, the more they get paid for doing nothing. It's a free ride for them. And, you know, I still got a couple obligations and things like that. That's why you see the whole American gangster that's about to come out and shit like that. So, you know, I've been in this game for a minute. I've been living life. I've really been in and out. I've been, I've been, I say I've been watching the game from the inside, but, you know, Due to my partners and due to the artists we had, we, we've had a hell of a career. Cam went platinum a few times. Above all, you know, he's still my brother. We, we, we grew up since we was young and shit like that. And unfortunately, some people do grow apart and shit like that. But as far as business is concerned, we ain't grow that far apart. You dig? Like, we don't hate each other to the point we gonna stab and kill each other when we see each other. I, I seen them the other day. He was uh, both going to get some money out the bank. Ain't that ironic? So, you know. We, we still getting money. <laughs> the Diplomats is a hell of a success. Hopefully in the future we get it together. We've been in, you know, we've been in slight talkings and shit like that. Oh, man. Um, the Warner situation. I was fired. <laughs> I don't work in the office no more, baby. You know what that means, anything I do is good for publicity. So if I end up in the news, guess what? That's more record sold. Don't be the butt of my joke. <laughs> Shout out to Sony. We getting big money over there at Sony, man. I did a, um, a venture over there, 50-50 50, 50, 50 venture. I'm a partner over there, which they don't give out anymore. It was, uh, you know, some say it was ingenious and shit like that. It just was, it just was timing and, and using the tools I had to get to where I had to go, you know. Now we on the bigger and better things. I get to I get to milk the machine that quote unquote everybody used to talk about and you know, if you know what Sony is, then you know Sony is a hell of a machine. The first project is my is my album. You gotta understand I'm I'm the owner and the artist at the same time, so I signed myself, first of all. Sometimes you think about that, you should have just stayed the artist, you wouldn't have so much responsibility, but fuck that, I'm trying to get filthy rich beyond control to the point I don't need to do shit. But wake up and get high, go back to sleep. Well, what do you think about the rumors of Jay-Z going to Sony also? Shit, you want me to give you a scenario? You remember the movie Backstage? Remember when Dane was barking on Kevin Lyles? Jay would be Kevin Lyles, and I would be Dane, because I own 50%. You understand? So if he want to go through that screw, we need to tell him come the fuck on. He did? Mm -hmm. I don't think nobody wants to go through that screw with me mm -hmm. at all. And for the money to put up on me, I don't know if they want to bring him over there. You know what I mean? They just didn't give me a venture for nothing. Not for them to renege on their own self, for having a uh, uh, executive not liking the artist and shit like that, or not like liking the business partner. I don't think that works under any contract value. I think there's a loophole due to that especially when it's been publicly known and announced and been on TV and radios and shit like that. So, you know, I don't think Sony's that stupid. I think that's why they pay them big ass lawyers to not make those type of mistakes. Hearsay is hearsay. Jay is over. He don't got no Rockefeller. He don't got no president. The sad thing is what about the artists? How they living? How they feeling? Are they feeling betrayed? Hoodwink, bamboozled, maybe? I think I'm going to do a raffle. Write all their names down. We're going to put them in a hat. Whoever name we pick, we're going to give them a deal. Give them some breath. 
breathe, nigga. Smell me? Shit is calm, it all come back to get you, motherfucker. It's just ironic, man. You think I'm just having fun. You know, the nigga did his thing, though. He, he came, he did what he's supposed to do. He made he made money that a lot of people would never get to see ever in their life and shit like that. And all. that's what the game is for. To make the money step out and keep living life and, and do what the fuck you want to do. So this is what it's all about. I'm trying to get in and get out, sell these businesses, get my money and disappear like Batman. Next time y'all see me, I'm always gonna be on some fly shit. I just might not know you if you call me Jim Jones. That's the plan. You know what I'm talking about?